is Freemasonry a religion? Many, if not most members of the order would declare that it is not. Despite the fact that they meet in buildings they call temples, which contain an altar. Freemasonry is a pyramid structure which operates a policy of deliberate deception whereby the lower ranks are purposefully misled by those above them. Upon their initiation into the craft, candidates swear their allegiance kneeling in the presence of the one referred to obliquely as the great architect of the universe. This can be taken by a Christian or Jewish initiate as being merely a quaint reference to the God of the Bible. Nothing could be further from the truth. Let's quote from Stephen Knight's in-depth analysis of the Brotherhood. The assurance given to candidates that the name Great Architect of the Universe can be applied to whatever supreme being they choose is worse than misleading. It is a blatant lie. The true name of the Masonic God is revealed only to those third-degree Masons who elect to be exalted to the Holy Royal Arch. In the ritual of exaltation, the name of the great architect of the universe is revealed as Yavalon. Not a general umbrella term open to any interpretation an individual Freemason might choose, but a precise designation that describes a specific supernatural being. A compound deity composed of three separate personalities fused in one. Each syllable of the ineffable name represents one personality of this trinity. Yah equals Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews. All equals all, the ancient Canaanite fertility god, associated with licentious rites of imitative magic. On equals Osiris, the ancient Egyptian god of the underworld. End of quote. But even these royal archmasons are deceived by those at the apex of the pyramid who know what even Stephen Knight did not. The incredible truth kept hidden from the vast majority of Masons the world over. It is only those Masons who are at the very top who have full knowledge of whom they worship. We will now quote from page 48 of the Lost Keys of Freemasonry, written by the noted occultist and 33rd degree Masonic author, Manly Palmer Hall. Man can only expect to be entrusted with great power by proving his ability to use it constructively and selflessly. When the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands. End of quote. Confirmation of who the Freemasonic God really is comes from the pen of another 33rd degree Mason, Albert Pike, one of the most powerful and influential Masons of all time, on page 321 of his masterwork, Morals and Dogma. Lucifer, the Light Bearer. Strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the Son of the Morning. Is it he who bears the light, and with its splendors intolerable, blind, feeble, sensual, or selfish souls. Doubt it not. End of quote. In Lady Queensborough's 1933 opus, Occult is to be found a copy of Albert Pike's instructions to the 23 Supreme Councils of the World, issued by him in the summer of 1889. That which we must say to the crowd is, we worship a God, but it is a God that one adores without superstition. To you, Sovereign Grand Inspectors General, we say this, that you may repeat it to the brethren of the 32nd, 31st, and 30th degrees. The Masonic religion should be, by all of us initiates of the high degrees, maintained in the purity of a Luciferian doctrine. Yes, Lucifer is God, and unfortunately, Adorne is also God. The true and pure philosophic religion is the belief in Lucifer, the equal of Adorne. But Lucifer, God of light and God of good, is struggling for humanity against Adorne, the God of darkness and evil. End of quote. Such blatant blasphemy is, of course, only to be expected from the devil's disciples. Note, and note well, that even though a good 95% or more of Masons are blissfully unaware of the fact, the craft of Masonry is witchcraft. Freemasonry is indeed a religion, a religion of the darkest kind imaginable.
It is nothing less than the worship of the serpent of Eden, the fallen angel, Lucifer himself, the ultimate enemy. Satan, the destroyer.